everyone. This is Hollywood Junket. My name is Craig Reese. And we've got another interview with an artist from this season's The Voice, season 21 of The Voice. Her name is Sophia Bromberg, and she'll be joining us in just a second. And until that happens, let's talk about The Voice. Who are your favorite artists so far? What do you think about the battle round so far? It's crazy already. And the talent is here, and Sophia is here. <laughs> She's already joined. This is awesome. Let's bring her in. Oh my goodness. Sophia, good to see you. How's it going? How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm great. How are you? <laughs> I'm at school right now. So no I'm way. <laughs> taking a break from my environmental science class. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best way to start an interview ever. Like, I, is your teacher just letting you like, yeah, go, go do the Instagram uh, I, live. And said I'm going to step out for like a couple of minutes. <laughs> Got to do this <laughs> before I take my quiz. This, this is awesome. Well, I won't keep you too long. I don't want to get you in no. detention. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, in case anyone that's watching does not know, Sophia, 16 years old, super talented, and just what a mark you made on your audition. Congratulations on that. So much. That means a lot. What have you done to train and and... How did you develop your sound for... Yeah, totally. Um, so I grew up in a very musical family. I have two older sisters, and my mom, when she was younger, or when I was younger, I guess, she constantly performed in garage bands. So a lot of my music, a lot of my weekends when I was younger consisted of going to her concerts and kind of just dancing around. And I was really inspired by her and also my sisters, both of them, they they sing as well. So I grew up singing with them. I was introduced to the piano when I was five. So I've been taking lessons since then. And I started playing the guitar in about third grade. And then I also involved myself heavily with musical theater in middle school. And then during high school, which is the school that I'm at now, I'm a senior, the music program here really cultivated my appreciation for music. And it kind of helped me realize that oh, I might like actually kind of be better that, and like at singing than I actually realized. And it really helped me kind of step out of my shell because I was also very shy. I never sang in front of anybody. Singing on The Voice was one of the very, um, one of the only times that I performed in front of people. Wow. <laughs> so um, while definitely nerve wracking, it was an incredibly tragic formative experience but that's just a little bit about my musical story so yeah I, I I love it you're getting a lot of hearts a lot of comments uh, um actually someone just asked a senior but you're 16 like and I'm now I'm kind of wondering about that too <laughs> I just started school when I was I started kindergarten when I was about in fourth grade so I've always kind of been the youngest in my class but that doesn't really stop me from keeping up with all of the educational expectations of being a senior. Um, so right now, currently, I'm in the throes of college applications, which is definitely very stressful, but I'm getting through it. It's this entire month of October and September have definitely been very overwhelming. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot to process, you know, but I'm getting through it and it's been super fun. I wouldn't change it for the world. So I'm super excited that I even get to talk to you. My goodness. Oh, well, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm, now I have like so many questions and I'll, I'll again, I don't want to keep you <laughs> from class, no, but no. I will say, <laughs> I will say it was, it's great that you took piano at such a young age. I, I literally wish everyone was required to take piano. I think it helps so much. Like it really breaks down like music and you get to hear like notes and all that, you know, like. Yeah, I was classically trained. So when I was younger, I was playing stuff like Canon and D and all of that jazz, no pun intended, um, when I was younger. And then as I grew up and throughout my adolescence, I started to realize that I could actually accompany myself singing and not just play classical piano pieces. So that's when I actually started singing. I was 
because I was given the ability to accompany myself and learn different um, songs without having the without feeling the need to only play classical stuff so that's when I started to branch out and that's when I started to get into guitar and that's when I started to do musical theater so it all just kind of intertwined together and I'm really grateful that my mom introduced me to that when I was so young yeah and your mom was so awesome on the show <laughs> it, I love her so much <laughs> So I haven't even said this yet, but you were team Ariana. Congratulations. It's, How has it been getting to work with her? She is probably the most kind hearted person I've ever met in my entire life. And that's not an exaggeration. She really, really cares about every single individual on her team. And you can see how much work and consideration she puts into her advice and her feedback to everybody. So I know my battle hasn't aired yet, but I'm I'm just so excited for the world to fall in love with her even more and see how much she she just cares so much. And it's so it's I just feel so grateful that I was able to experience that with her and just see another side of her that the world really doesn't get to see. And yeah, I it's just such a blessing that I was one of the 12 people that was able to experience that as she experienced it like together we did it together it was her first season it was my first season obviously so <laughs> yes. i like i like that yeah it's both of your first seasons yeah. <laughs> that's awesome it was so amazing when i heard that she was gonna be a judge i was like yes like she uh i love her so much my time, I have a time constraint on my Instagram. <laughs> it just went off. So it just kicked me off for one second. But yeah, when I saw her announcement on Instagram, I think I almost had a panic attack. I was screaming so loudly. I think there's a video of me when that happened. It was so insane. Yeah, yeah it was crazy. Um, someone just commented, I want to see you, uh, I think, sing live with Ariana. Um, but I yes, I would I would love to see you make it to the final so you can sing with her. That would be amazing. That would that would probably be the highlight of my entire life. Not even kidding. <laughs> kind of a <laughs> joking question, but what have you done with Ariana's lunchbox? Oh my god, that is not a joking question. I when I first received it, I was so scared to touch it because I wanted to conserve everything and not mess up anything. But as I came home and after blinds, I definitely was picking away at some of the little ginger um, cough drops and the different bromelain pills that really help with your singing. And But now what I'm doing is the cough drops taste so good, but I don't want to waste them because I think <laughs> ounce, you know so I'm buying more on Amazon the same brand but I'm gonna like eat those but then save the lunchbox ones because I don't want to mess up mess them up um but yeah I have it in my room on my desk look at it every day so fun I love it so much that that is so great <laughs> yeah. it was it's an amazing it's so amazing how much to how does to see how much she cares not only about her teammates but also vocal health because I think that is something I was not aware even existed before I met her and before she gave me a lot of coaching on that because I didn't really know how to take care of my voice I didn't know that was a thing I didn't mm -hmm. really receive vocal lessons prior to going on to the voice so it was definitely a very transformative experience I have evolved so much as a musician since I started filming it's crazy and I'm it's pretty much all accredited to her so it's been an amazing experience that that is so great to hear yeah did you um pick your audition song in hopes of impressing Ariana so you could be on her team you know I think I picked, my song was Heather, and so I picked it because not only is it an, an incredible song, it has a lovely melody, it's a very current song, I was able to personally relate a lot to the lyrics, not, be, like, beyond its literal meaning of not being noticed by your crush, I think it paints a broader message in that Conan is talking about the pain 
that kind of comes with being seen by not being seen by another individual, whether that be not being physically seen or not being emotionally acknowledged. And that is something that I was able to connect to because, you know, I'm a 16 year old girl that lives in Marin in California. So I struggle a lot with insecurities too. And I wasn't afraid to share that vulnerability with the coaches. And I hope I was hoping that they would be able to hear that when I was singing. Um, and hopefully they did. I don't really know. But um, I was really going into it just to kind of show what I had to offer to the world and whatever happened, happened. I didn't really want to go into it thinking about which coach I wanted to choose. If anybody turned around, I was really just hoping for the best and not really trying to think about anything else during that moment. Yeah. I've, I've said it once and I'll say it again, like just to get on that stage is super, super hard. So the fact that you even got there is great. And then, yeah, like if one person turns, yes. <laughs> you know, like. I feel like people don't realize how much work it takes to actually get onto the stage because- I, I, They don't. Yeah. Um, I, I think even like the hardcore fans don't know how many processes it takes, or maybe they do, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm, just, I'm proud of, everybody that I have met during the process and everyone that put themselves out there during that audition. It's that I've really just cultivated the strongest family that I've ever had with all of those people. So it's super fun. Well, I said I was going to try to keep this interview short, um, oh, but I have so many questions, but I won't ask them all. But what I got to know is I'm, well, I'll, I'll admit I'm super jealous that you've got to meet and work with Ariana, but I'm more jealous that you got to work with Kristen Chenoweth. And how was that? Oh God, I am obsessed with Kristen Chenoweth. Oh, I so talented. Work. I watched it when I was younger. I saw the Broadway when I was younger. Um, so when I walked into filming Battle Reality, I was completely starstruck. I think working with her, she almost encompasses so much about music in general because not only is she an incredible vocalist but she's also an actress she's also a performer and um she's this multifaceted individual that provided me with a lot of amazing advice not only on my voice but also about how i connect with the audience how i should perform um i don't want to spoil anything so that's why i'm trying to be very careful but i'm i'm super excited for everybody to see the type of advice that she gave me. She's amazing. And she's probably the cutest human being ever. <laughs> I, absolutely. <laughs> like 100% wins that award. Yes. Um, last question. And you kind of touched on it right there. I know you can't talk about battles, but what did you take away the most from that experience? I think just being able to perform on the voice stage again, was such an incredible experience. I think the mo the biggest thing that I learned is just that it's this entire show isn't about perfection. It's always just about progressing as a musician. And I measuring my progress throughout the season is was really compelling to see even my ability to improve as a musician and my ability to certain feedback from the coaches and apply that to my performance but really just the true and authentic fun that I get from performing and just never forgetting that was really inspiring to kind of just reflect on because after I performed I don't want to like say the results or anything but after I performed I just felt so fulfilled in the sense that I had the time of my life on stage and that's really all that I could have asked for. So it was super fun. I cannot wait to see this and oh, I can't wait for you to watch. <laughs> Sophia, it has been a real pleasure talking to you. You're you're so intelligent. Oh, <laughs> like, thank like you're smarter than me. <laughs> no, just just super talented, super smart. Uh, you're just you're gonna do great. And I can't wait to see what happens with the rest of the show. And congratulations again. And thank you so much for your time. <laughs>
Thank you so much for taking me out of school. I really needed a break today. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, I hope I didn't keep you too long. Um, before I let you go back to your quiz, um, again, this is Hollywood Junket. My name is Craig Reese. We've been talking to Sophia from Team Ariana. And just congratulations again. And I cannot wait. I, I would, I really, really, really hope you make it further so we can talk again. And I can take you out another, another test, another quiz. Yes. I'm going to get back to it, but it's been such a pleasure talking to you guys. And thank you, everybody, for joining. It's been Yeah, so seriously. I saw a lot of comments, a lot of love. Um, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And Sophia, keep it up, and we'll talk to you later. Love it. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, guys. That'll wrap it up for another interview. Again, this is Craig Reese with Hollywood Junket. You can catch all our interviews on our Instagram channel and also on our YouTube channel at Hollywood Junket. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.